Hey everyone, this is Arlene coming to you with a video for my favorite things. I wanted to share a project that I put together for the uh, release hop for MFT for the July release. And uh, the stamp set that I worked with is the So Nifty stamp set and dynamic set. And the set comes with some dynamics, which are awesome. I love it. It's the dress form. Uh, it has a spool, a thimble, some scissors and measuring tape and it's so fun because the thimble the scissors and the measuring tape are like little charms and remember Di uh, MFT Dynamics cut through materials as thick as light chipboard so I was able to use a pretty heavy uh, craft cardstock uh, when I use this and I'll show you exactly um, how that came out and this is what the stamp set looks like and I'm sorry for the glare but it comes with a really nice solid sewing machine um, it's got a spool of uh, measuring tape here, and it comes with several sentiments um, about friendship and love. And it's just so adorable. And I love the design on the dress form. And the best way to get that uh, stamped, and the cool thing is it's clear stamps, so you die cut it, and then you can easily stamp right into the die cut, and it just comes out perfect. So let me go ahead and share with you what I created. I'll just move this out of the way. And I actually made this uh, for my friend, Rena. Hey, Rena. She celebrated a birthday recently, and I've just been so, so busy. I'm kind of belated on this, but I wanted to make her a card. And this is sort of like a card slash layout slash envelope. It's kind of so many things in one. Um, but I used the Graphic 45 Fashionista Paper Collection. And on the cover, I have this really big rosette, and this was created using the 3 8 Rosette Dynamics die, and I absolutely love it. In the center of it, I put a Recollections Bling. And this ribbon that I have here, this pleated trim with the velvet ribbon, I got this at my local uh, craft store. And then I added some Prima Bling, kept it pretty simple. And um, I'm going to show you the back, but I'll probably come back to that later. But this is the back. I actually glued the ribbon down on here and I actually have some matting on here where I can write a note. And I added the solid bracket border die and that's what this looks like. And this is new for the July release, available on July 5th. Absolutely love this. And that works perfectly, by the way, and I have all my dynamics playing out here. There is an open bracket border die and you could easily layer, layer this onto the solid one and it's really, really cool. I didn't do it on this card, but just wanted to show you guys that. Um, but the card opens up this way. What I did is I added some Velcro and I've done this in mini albums before and I just really love how you can use this, make this as a closure, but I just used some Velcro and I used hot glue to add my rosette onto um, the ribbon and I actually instead of just adhesive because I bought the adhesive velcro I added hot glue as well so that it stays really really good now this um, open up card this is actually an envelope die that I cut out using my AccuCut and that's the base of my card and it just opens up like this and I matted the graphic 45 designer paper right onto some of the um, black licorice MFT cardstock and then I stamped a whole bunch of flourishes around there, and I actually took that from the um, Sweet and Sassy stamp set by MFT. So I used a, a couple of stamp sets here. And then, so let me go ahead and start off what I did. You'll see, I, I mentioned that the scissors and the thimble are little charms, and you'll see here that I have them hanging um, on the banner. And so I used the, um, the banner die up here, and I'll put all of the, the names down below so that you know what I'm using here. Um, but I did layer on uh, black licorice cardstock and the Graphic 45 Fashionista paper collection. And then these letters here are actually the Graphic 45 punch out letters that come with the paper collection. I just punched them out and then I edged everything with my um, black soot distress ink. And then um, you'll see that I hung the scissors, the thimble, and the scissors here. And this is on um, heavyweight craft cardstock. And I put little blings right where the scissors come together. I don't know if you guys can see that. And the thimble. And I just uh, edged it with the black soot distress ink. I stamped the sewing machine right there. I love that sewing machine. And then right here where the sentiment is, and we'll come to the dress form last, where the sentiment is, I cut that out with the Graphic 45 Fashionista Paper Collection. But this is the large label die that comes with the You Move Me 
uh, dynamics and stamp set and I just love it you guys it's huge so you can fit so many different you can stamp directly in the sentiment or you can layer it um, but I decided to layer on top of it below that um, or right over the um, you move me label die I put one of the new doilies and this is the dizzy doily and it comes from a duo set um, this is the smaller of the two here's the larger one Okay, and you can get the dimensions off the MFT website so you can see exactly how big they are, but there's a larger version of these three and all three of the Dizzy Doilies layer nicely right on top of each other like this. And then you'll have the bigger one that would go on the bottom. So this is the smaller of the, of the two in the duo. And then this oval I actually took from the well-worn greetings dynamic set, which just looks like that. And I just stamped the sentiment from the um, So Nifty stamp set right onto that. And then I added some of my own bling for my stash. And then here's the thimble. So what I did is I first die cut it. And where is it here? So first I, I die cut the thimble and then I stamped onto it. So it looked like this and I'll show you, I have one out here. And then since it's a clear stamp, you can see exactly where to stamp it. So it's really, really nice. Um, and then what I did is I wrapped some really thin twine around that to look like the thread and then I have this Maya Road stick pin on there and then I just stuck another thimble from the dynamic set on there because it's like a little charm. It's really fun. And then over here I have my dress form and then I stamped it with the dress form stamp set that comes, you know, the dynamics and then it comes with the coordinating stamp set and then I added some lace for her skirt. And then I added this um, three pearl drop trim and I got this from, from Carla over at Carla S001. And then I added some bling for a necklace and I thought that was really cute and fun. And then over here I used the new file tab dynamics and it looks like this, really fun. You can add sentiments on here. You can use this on your mini albums to, um, to title each of your pages. You can use it on layouts, cards, whatever. It's very functional, I mean, uh, versatile. And what I did is I stamped some more of the flourishes from the Sweet and Sassy stamp set. And then I took this happy birthday sentiment from uh, the You Spin Me Around. I have it right here. Looks like this. It's the You Spin Me Around Editions um, stamp set by MFT. Okay. And that is the inside. Oh, and you'll see back here I have the solid bracket border again. What I did is I just back um, took two pieces and I adhered them back to back. So there's um, bracket edge on both sides. And then I just layered that on the bottom. And then um, these are just Black Recollections half, um, half back pearls that I got from Michaels. And I just added them um, on the corners with hot glue so it looks like it's holding the banner down. So that's it. And then um, because there's really no room for writing a note to um, Tarina, what I did is I did that matting on the back side. So I just close this like this. And just add this. Oops, got my bling caught on the ribbon there. And you just close it like that. Really cute and fun. And then on the back side, I can write my little note to her. So it's almost like a card. So really super fun. Um, hope you guys like it. Check out MFT. Awesome release this month. A um, lot of fun dynamics. Before I go, let me share with you some of the other dynamics that are being released. Um, we have this little ticket strip, which is really fun. That's going to be released July 5th. And you guys have probably seen my um, pinwheel tutorial already. That's what that looks like. That's super fun. And this is the little dynamics for the You Move Me. Um, it goes with the stamp set. And then this actually goes together. These. And then you guys have already seen the So Nifty dynamics and the file tab and the solid bracket border and you guys have also seen the dizzy doily duo super fun large rolled rows you guys awesome 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 i love this it comes out nice and huge and i've already shown some cards on my blog um, showing what these look like and super fun to make so anyways, hope you liked my project. Check out MFT at mftstamps.com. Take care, guys. Bye.